What was the most memorable moment from Time Team in 2023? Well, for me, that was down at Corfe Castle this year, where we held the 30th anniversary celebrations of Time Team. Members of the old brigade were there, and I include myself in that. John, Helen, Carenza, memories of those no longer with us, Mick, Robin, Victor, also people that have been with us over the years, production crew, sound crew, camera crews and so on. It's one big family and now we have new people bringing their own skills and personality into the programme. Lovely to see it developing like that and long may it continue. My favourite time team moment of 2023 probably has to be ooh, any one of lots from Modbury, I think, because that's test pitting in a rural community uh, and I love doing that because you're working so closely with people digging in the places they know. Uh, the excitement of the school children was just absolutely amazing. And then uh, the whole bigger picture built up was wonderful. And that whole shoot had the added treat of on the way home, I went and visited Tintagel Castle too, which I haven't been to for a long time. So that all in all was a pretty memorable shoot. It would be the working with Operation Nightingale. To have the opportunity to work with these guys for 10 days and to be able to dig so much, to be able to show you guys so much and just to be able to expand the program, it just makes it so much worthwhile than trying to ram everything into three days. So that would be my favourite program of the year. Well, 2023 with Time Team has been a roller coaster, a crazy ride, as always, as always. Um, very different sites that we've been to. Um, one involved some camping, so that was definitely a highlight for me. Um, but yeah, in terms of the archaeology, it's some great archaeology with the new sites that we've got. But a highlight of 2023 for me was um, definitely the Windfarthing program. It was a difficult site archaeologically. It was difficult for different people for different bits of analysis but it all it all came uh, together well I think and um, yeah I don't think I'll ever get over the botanical extravaganza that I had from the the soil the remnants um, from the grain of, of Windfarthing woman so um, yeah that's got to be one of my big highlights yeah that and camping and laughing a lot while camping I think one of the best bits in 2023 was at Modbury. We'd done some GPR and got some really nice responses, suggesting something was 80 centimetres below the lawn. So Matt started to dig the hole and you always wonder, oh, could it be a septic tank we've detected? Um, is it going to be modern? Have we dug up their lawn for no reason whatsoever? My favourite memorable moment of Time Team 2023 was heading out to CERN Abbas where Hugh Wilmot from Sheffield University or University of Sheffield was excavating the Abbey there and it was an absolute treat to go and meet his students, his volunteers, um, including some patrons which were working with him and seeing some of the spectacular finds both of the buildings as well as the artifacts that were coming up from this, this abbey. Really nice and looking forward to seeing more of that in the new year. Well, for me, my favourite moment of 2023 has got to be Modbury, and that's the community archaeology excavation, the test pitting survey that we did back in the summer. And what was fantastic about that is that it was quite different to a lot of other time teams. Quite often you'll be in a field, there'll be four or five trenches going in, but you're in one field. With this, we were in Modbury itself. We were actually in the heart of Modbury and we had the whole community working alongside us. We had some amazing volunteers, everyone from the local primary school through to the scouts, through to, we even had the local town crier helping us. And that was fantastic. And what was different about that was that we were in and out of people's gardens, running up and down the street. So there was that added factor of trying to get around up to all these different places and also train up the local volunteers at the same time. 
But what was great really was at the end of the three days when we were filming our final scene um, at Mobbury Memorial Hall and we had everyone there, the whole community. And when we finished that final scene, the buzz was just amazing. And that's why I really love doing community archaeology. So that's going to be my favourite memory, memory of 2023. There's been so much. I think many of the best times have been in the pub or on site, chatting, meet, catching up with people, reminiscing, uh, talking about some of the, um, the, the, the good old times. Because um, it's been so long. Having the opportunity to work on Aldborn and do a lot of the illustration. Um, I really enjoyed doing drawings of Second World War soldiers, um, and uh, doing the, the motion graphics and trying to sync up the voiceover to the animations and doing nice rostrum moves. Um, so that was very, very enjoyable. I really got a lot out of that because I got to be, be able to, do, to be the illustrator and the animator. Uh, and uh, yeah, I was dealing with all the things I like dealing with audio and textures and making things like old and grungy and grimy and flickery. So there was lots of really nice, nice components all coming together. Um, yeah, so that was really enjoyable. My favourite memory from Time Team 2023 has to be at Modbury, where I got to open a trench and de-turf with Carenza. A wonderful experience to be out in the field. I've got a couple of Time Team highlights for this year. The first was the launch of the Grease episode, which was a fantastic moment for our project and team. To be able to share those stories with the world was fantastic, and I can't wait for the next part to come out in the very near future. The second highlight was the dig at Corfe Castle. It's been a lifelong dream to host a Time Team excavation on one of my own projects and being able to bring the whole crew down for those three incredible, if not a little bit rainy at times days, was absolutely amazing. Thank you for sticking with us for another year, 2023. And what an amazing year. We've had loads of stuff. We were down in Dorset. I love digging down south. It's so beautiful down there. And of course, up to my neck of the woods, up to Shropshire, Whittington. It was lovely to do something around here. Really nice, a glorious sight as well. And of course, there's been the non-classic time teams, the non-three days that we've done down um, uh, in, in Nottinghamshire with Lawrence uh, on the First World War site, dropped in there for a bit. That was really interesting. But I think my favorite part of the year has to be Oldbourne. That was an incredible nine days. That's like three normal time teams back to back. It was a long old stint, but it was great. A great site, amazing archeology, span but such an incredible group of people that we worked with. We've made some great friends there. People that I've met again since. Paul, metal detecting in Nottinghamshire the last time. Met him uh, at Oldbourne. Um, amazing stuff there and a really, really, powerful story. It was amazing to be a part of that. And of course, those excavations carry on, you know, it's going on next year and the year after as well. And I hope Richard and his crew have, uh, you know, a successful next year as they were this year. It was really, really an honour to be a part of that. Outside of Time Team, I think my most memorable experiences of 2023 Oh, there have been so many. I was, I was flicking through photos on my phone to try and remember what I've been up to. Um, uh, I, I did my first field work in Greece, uh, which is incredible. I'm uh, really looking forward to getting back out, back out there. Um, a massive highlight was actually returning to a site I've been excavated for a number of years in Shropshire. It's, a, it's an Iron Age site. It's a fort, but it's within a bog. So it's a marsh fort. Um, just getting back out there has been just incredible. Yeah, actually... actually yeah, again, just being in the field is just brilliant. Um, but also, I say, I say being in the field is being brilliant, but also working with the samples, getting to the lab, um, which I've taken in Denmark. I do a lot of work with bog bodies, um, later prehistoric bog bodies, and working with that material and, and analysing it. A lot of the computer modelling work that I do to try and understand that material better has been incredible. So it's been a really good year, um, always. 
One thing I did really enjoy was working with our students um, out at Doddington Hall in Lincolnshire. We did the first excavations ever to take place there, the first formally recorded excavations ever to take place there, and got an amazing picture of the sort of wealth of uh, 16th, 17th, 18th century life there from all the, the glass and the pottery and the bottles that we discovered, um, and just that hint of other stuff to come. So that was great as well. I really enjoyed that. I think that's my top fieldwork moment in 2023. Outside time team, I think one of the best things that I've been involved in uh, was something called uh, our Uplands Commons project, which was a project, a three-year project, uh, National Lottery funded mostly, and it was about engaging people, commoners I suppose, with common land that they lived around. Uh, and I, unsurprisingly, did the Shropshire Hills, or worked on the Shropshire Hills, with an, again within a great crew of people, it was mostly ecology based, but I did some of the archaeology stuff. So three years ago, we dug on a Iron Age hill fort. The following year, we did some medieval bell pits on the same common. And then last year, we looked at some tw early 20th century uh, quarrying uh, and lime kilns, all on this amazing, amazing common called Clee Liberty, which is absolutely beautiful down in the Shropshire Hills, a really, really stunning place to go. Um, earlier this year, a site was announced to the general media and it was an amazing Anglo-Saxon cemetery site in Garforth. And I had the privilege of um, floating <laughs> over 2,000 bags and buckets of soil from that site and the it's not only the grave goods and the excitement of the site, um, but the number of skeletons that we had and how different they were and how very different that is for um, West Yorkshire as a whole. And so that was very nice to come out in, in into the media. So that's the biggest one that sticks personally in mind for me. Um, and hopefully, well, definitely next year, I'm going to be making a little piece about those those brilliant finds and the post excavation process behind that. So yeah, that's a, that's a big one for me. What am I looking forward to in 2024? Well, obviously doing more time teams, of course. But also I'm really interested to go to an exhibition in the spring at the Lady Lever Art Gallery on the Wirral in Cheshire. There there's going to be an exhibition which celebrates and explores the work of women landscape artists in the 19th and 20th century. Work which up to now has mostly gone under the radar and I think this will be a wonderful opportunity to open my eyes to a different perspective on the British landscape. Oh and I'm also expecting and hoping that Liverpool win the Premier League. So time team 2024, just looking forward to actually starting to get away again, starting to recce sites and, and see what's coming up. I do know of a couple of possibilities, but obviously we can't discuss those at the moment. So literally getting away, seeing some of you patrons who managed to get yourselves on the site, and making good programs. So see you in 2024. Now for 2024, what I would like to do, I suppose, is go back to Oldbourne if that's possible, or something similar really. I like that nine days. It was, um, it, it, you really got a better feel of what was going on um, and you could relax into it a bit more and you thought about the whole process in a much more slowly and more rounded way I thought and so I'd really really love to do something similar uh, in future in 2024. I mean who knows what um, the excavations might bring or what we may end up doing. It'd be great to go back up to Scotland again one day actually. That would be an amazing thing to do. So what I'm most looking forward to in 2024 is Actually, just meeting up with the crew again is always fantastic. We always have wonderful archaeology, but wherever we go and whatever we do, the really fabulous thing is meeting up with everyone. We really are a time team family. 
I'm also really looking forward to doing more Time Team news. We've been doing monthly specials, putting them out on YouTube, and it's been really fascinating behind the scenes to find out about the archaeology that's going on in Britain, but also across the globe. And it's been fantastic to be able to kind of share that with people, put it out there. And I know that people are enjoying it. So hopefully there'll be much more of that in 2024. Specifically, I'm excited about the release of the Corf Castle episode. It's going to be a really, really good one and I can't wait to see it. Well, <laughs> I always know that you never know what any year is going to throw up. Um, but at the moment, I am very excited that we may be doing a Time Team site not very far down the road from where I live, which will be lovely uh, because I'll be able to be more involved in the uh, setting up the background for it. So I think that will be quite exciting if it goes ahead. Join Time Team on Patreon to access exclusive 3D models, masterclasses and behind-the-scenes insights.